Hey everyone, good afternoon. Thank you for taking the time to join us for our webinar today, an introduction to Microsoft 365. My name is Ian Williamson. I'm the practice lead for platform solutions here at IntelliJ. I'm part of the furniture now, having just entered my 17th year with the organization. And I specialize in productivity platforms such as SharePoint, Office 365, and Microsoft Azure. So today, we're gonna to be having a look at Microsoft 365, how Microsoft marketing messages relate to the product suites, and how those product suites can help benefit your organization. Before we dive in, I'd just like to take a few seconds to introduce the Apex Alliance to those of you who haven't heard about us previously. The Apex Alliance is formed of four gold Microsoft partners, Preact, leading CRM gold partner specializing in Dynamics 365, TESS, specialist for delivering Microsoft Dynamics NAV and Microsoft 365 Business Central Information Systems, Wellington, a trusted partner of choice for project and portfolio management. And IntelliJ, we are a leading UK-based technology provider for Office 365 and SharePoint. We were founded in 1994, so we've been going almost 25 years now. We're based in Sunbury, Southwest London, and we've been a Microsoft Gold Partner since the year 2000. In that time, we've grown to become the trusted digital partner for a number of organizations globally. We have particular experience with information management, governance, intelligent process automation, platform solutions, custom business applications, and modern workplace. The four disciplines in the center are at our core and run throughout everything that we do. So now you know a bit about us, let's look at why we're here today, Microsoft 365. Microsoft 365 was announced at the Inspire conference last year. It's fair to say it was front and center of pretty much all their messaging and announcements. There was a noticeable decline of Office 365 being mentioned anywhere, and at that time and through the Ignite conference later in the year, there was a lot of speculation as to whether Office 365 was being rebranded or absorbed into a different product offering. The original strapline, a complete intelligent, secure solution to empower employees, was a bit vague, especially considering there's no products you could actually go and buy off the shelf. So they updated it. A complete intelligent solution including Office 365, Windows 10, Enterprise Mobility plus Security that empowers everyone to be creative and work together securely. It clears a few things up. I'd like to touch briefly on some of the concepts of a modern workplace to help in some perspective around how Microsoft 365 can deliver. For me, I see the common factors revolving around three core areas, places, technology, and people. The end goal is for productivity and security. We can ask an employee to be productive, but we shouldn't show them how to be productive. True productivity can only be achieved if users have an opportunity to use the tools they know and love. Today, many application portfolios have become staggering in size. There's so many tools around. From the, their personal motivation to achieve more, to be productive users, we often choose the tools that have not been provided by the organization, what we know as shadow IT. This represents a challenge when it comes to securing company assets. Data is in places with no security, no visibility. Company data is no longer contained within the walls of the organization. Realizing that, there's a knee-jerk reaction to say, let's contain this, let's get a grip on this. The traditional solution is to, to lock everything away. It's very technical and effective. An attempt to keep control by centralizing, isolating and controlling access to it, and then look at ways to getting users to the vault is becoming largely outdated these days. Soon it feels like the company provided tools are going back in time compared to what we're used to seeing in our in our day-to-day -day social lives. We need a new approach, not just from a technical perspective, but one that strikes a balance between usability, manageability, and security. General characteristics of a modern workplace, we need to manage from the cloud, configure devices in a new, more focused way, ideally with a single set of tools, implement security that doesn't interfere with productivity, we're looking for side-by-side -side traditional and modern IT deployments that offer flexibility. Change is challenging. Everyone can see the benefits of it, but it's still challenging. There is no silver bullet. The process is not going to be easy. We've been doing things a certain way for a long time, and now we need new technology to support a new culture and a new mindset. The culture and mindset are pretty much already there following the smartphone and tablet revolution. I blame the iPad. When that first took off, executives and sales divisions wanted easier mobile working and flexibility. It's our job now to realize the full potential of that. Microsoft have grouped the service offerings into four pillars. On the face of it, they sound fairly appealing and are all pretty much fundamentally important to a modern workplace. But what do they actually mean and what do they offer? 
Microsoft 365 empowers people with a toolbox of products and services. These tools make it easy to be more creative with better support for modern devices and better user interfaces and artificial intelligence. It's just embedded into the software we use every day. Pretty much everyone uses the Office Suite in some form to carry out day-to-day -day tasks. Microsoft 365 includes Pro Plus. It's essentially a subscription-based model for the Office desktop products. It contains the latest feature sets, and because it's a subscription service, they stay up to date. Integrated into Office is AI, provided by the Microsoft AI factory, providing a comprehensive set of capabilities that can enhance the user experience. So let's take a look at some of the latest advances in the Office suite. Microsoft have done a really great job at making Office available across any device on any platform. First class experiences for Windows, Apple and Android. And that's not just the apps, no matter what you're working on, your apps, your content all roam with you across the platforms. So starting first thing on your phone or tablet on a commute and then picking up on another device where you left off when you get to where you're going. It's all just there. The new user interfaces for inking, voice, translation, gestures for selecting, highlighting, deleting, along with other new touch capabilities. A lot of new content types as well, 3D content, video, they've been investing in data visualization for Excel, Power BI, mixed reality. The power of AI Factory makes it easier to create high impact content, automate routine tasks and surface key insights from data. The Microsoft Graph is effectively the all seeing eye across services in the Microsoft Cloud. It's the API that receives signals from individuals and services, and when combined with AI, the ability to search and discover content in personalized ways is becoming really easy and really intuitive. Let's take PowerPoint Designer as an example. This shows how quickly you can assemble an engaging presentation with online content. PowerPoint Designer steps in to provide recommendations on design and layout, using AI to understand focal points of the images and intent matching to help you get to where you need to be quicker. This next example shows how 3D design objects are becoming more common in content types. Whether you're generating your own 3D objects, by the way that's really easy with Paint 3D in Windows 10, or whether you're using online resources, these can be embedded into Office content easily and with the features like Morph Transition in PowerPoint it provides a great way to show off products and designs. The power of AI helps out with day-to-day -day routine tasks too. We all hated Clippy, the paperclip back in 1997, but 20 years on, the intelligence has got smarter and slightly less annoying. Word Editor offers writing assistance, combined with a traditional grammar editor. It reduces wordiness and redundant words, overused expressions, informal language, double negation, jargon, bias, slang, and a stack more. Because it's a cloud-based service, the Word Editor is constantly learning, it uses AI, and it learns from you. Excel has supported text as well as numbers for a long time. Now Excel is the first spreadsheet tool that connects to external data sources to make the entire data set a rich entity. It provides rich data visualization and makes it so easy to work with connected data. So now you don't have to be an artist or a musician or a painter to be creative. The Office Suite provides a tool set for anybody to step up and deliver high quality output. So what's next? We need to enable people in the modern workplace to be better together. The notion of teamwork is a little different to collaboration. A lot of people can have a lot of meetings and collaborate, but not necessarily achieve much. With teamwork, there's an expectation of an outcome, a sense of accountability to make progress together. Some projects are diverse. Teams and projects come in different sizes, two people, 200 people. They can last for two days or two years. Members can be spread across the globe, can include vendors, partners, contractors, as well as employees. As I mentioned earlier, Microsoft 365 is a universal toolkit. A modern workplace relies on the right tool for the right task. One tool for everything just isn't realistic to meet the needs of the team. Experiences for email, meetings, messaging, document sharing tools for collaborating and communicating across the organization can be provided by services of Office 365. We'll start with something familiar. Everyone has a mailbox. Outlook has features to help you be more productive. Focused inbox, app mentions, summary cards with actions for airlines, package delivery, reservations, etc. As well as Cortana's calendar service for booking meetings are just some of the time-saving tools that can help when you have to process email. With mailboxes hosted in Exchange Online, Office 365, you're also provided with a decent level of threat protection against phishing attacks, malware, antivirus. 
a pretty fundamental requirement in this day and age and it's all integrated and just works no third party products to purchase or configure another core component is content management sharing files and modern intranets the modern experience provides native support between mobile web and desktop communication sites let you build rich engaging pages that are cross-platform ready with the sharepoint framework it's easy to include dynamic content from external sources such as twitter yammer and youtube etc sharepoint is also deeply integrated into microsoft office 365 the modern team sites back file experiences for outlook files yammer teams and it's the core engine for co-authoring and collaboration providing some of the best and easiest document management tools in the industry like communication sites they natively support mobile web and desktop platforms sharepoint is also seamlessly integrated with power apps and flow so you can embed custom forms workflows or your custom mobile apps OneNote's been around for a long time if you haven't used it you should give it a try it's an excellent way to store notes and clippings meeting minutes etc and share them across the team every sharepoint team site experience automatically gets a OneNote for collaboration Planner is Microsoft's answer to task management. Planner plans are a great way to help individuals manage their workloads. If there's an individual plan I've created for myself or assigned tasks within a wider project team or project plan, the Kanban style interface provides an overview of tasks across the project or can aggregate all tasks assigned to me, whichever plan they're in. These days, video is one of the best ways to impart knowledge and communicate. Microsoft Stream is a service that provides secure hosting of video content that's then available across your Office 365 environment or as a standalone content within Stream. And of course, it provides the capabilities you'd expect from a modern streaming service, including support for cross-browser platform compatibility, text-based searching, and inline translation. Insights and intelligence are not just for management these days. Many people rely on data to make decisions every day. Power BI is a suite of secure business analytics tools that can deliver this information from hundreds of data sources in a visually appealing way. Like Stream, the content can be surfaced across other 365 services and can be consumed on mobile devices and the web. These six Office 365 services are great as individual offerings, but bringing them all together as a set of common services in an Office 365 group gives you better integration and can help people work together on a common goal more naturally. An Office 365 group is a membership construct bringing together shared identity. Similar to distribution lists in days gone by, the idea of having owners and members listed once, but those users having the right level of access to a set of resources across Office 365 can help cut down on the admin overhead of permission management and lets the team focus on delivery. That concept can be extended with Teams. Microsoft Teams is a digital hub for teamwork aimed at high velocity projects. It's not intended to be the only place you work, it's just a starting point to connect project groups. External access provides capabilities to invite partners or contractors to collaborate securely using controls like conditional access and multi-factor authentication. Teams brings together conversations, meetings, files and applications into a single canvas. It's customizable to make it easier to gather information and streamline tasks. There are over 150 apps, bots, services from the likes of Trello, Adobe and Microsoft. There's also an open developer platform so you can integrate your existing line of business applications quite easily too. Intelligent communications are at the heart of teamwork. Smarter calling, rich meeting experience with dial-in and meeting experiences along with a integrated AI and cognitive services like translation and speech recognition. For example, after the meeting, you get all the notes and conversations in one single place. Recorded meetings are stored in stream with transcript, facial recognition and search capabilities. Teams really does have the power to create new scenarios to communicate and collaborate better. The new backend for Skype infrastructure delivers high quality voice and video meeting experiences. It's already powering the Teams client today um, and is evolving rapidly. Microsoft Teams will become the core communications client. Microsoft's visions for that is that Teams will be the hero experience for voice, video and meeting. And over time, it will replace the Skype for Business client. And let's not forget the Surface Hub. It helps collaboration in the room and across the world with whiteboard experiences. No longer do we need webcams pointed at the actual whiteboard. While Microsoft Site Teams for team-based project delivery, 
otherwise known as the inner loop, Yammer is designed for communicating more widely with the rest of the organization, or the outer loop. It's ideal for polls, feedback, discussion, and where you want to reach the whole organization and broadcast town hall style meetings. So those are the services that aid and promote team working within Office 365, but it's worth pointing out that there's much more included with many of the licensing packs that provide added value to employees as well as the organization. Personal tools like Delve for discovering content and people with the Microsoft Graph, OneDrive for Business that's undergone a complete overhaul recently. It's built into Windows 10, it's accessible through File Explorer and the Office applications. The reliability and quality of the sync experience, as well as a range of secure external sharing and files on demand, means that it's a great replacement for user drives stored on file servers. The mobile app, offline syncing and visibility to SharePoint library content means that your users can access what they need when they need it. Some of the others, to do for lightweight individual task management, my analytics to help users understand how and where they spend their time and what they can change to be more productive, build custom applications with Power Apps, automate tasks and workflow with Flow, create visually appealing storyboards with Sway or create a simple data capture mechanism with Forms. We talked about the Office Suite earlier, but don't forget that Office 365 provides online versions of Word, Excel and PowerPoint for faster access to content or for those times you don't have Office installed. It also includes a desktop suite of those products too and options to include Visio and Project. I've said it a lot already, but the user experience for services across Office 365 is really intuitive and works on so many platforms with pretty much no effort. It's just there, it's out of the box and it works. With a modern workplace, the goal is to deliver on end user experiences, a complete and secure solution with a low TCO over the complete IT lifecycle. With my background in platforms and infrastructures, I know that managing desktops can be tough. From provisioning equipment, phones, laptops, etc., making sure they're configured correctly, they have the right software, maintaining images, it all takes time. Then there's the ongoing management and updating. Microsoft 365 and Windows Autopilot are changing what's happening here. With Microsoft Intune, Azure services like Azure Active Directory, OMS, and Windows 10, the lives of admins and end users is getting a lot easier. I'd like to run through a scenario that's been around for many years. An IT admin, probably in the office, I'm not sure we're kept in the basement these days, but hey. That IT admin receives a device from the manufacturer. Maybe it's one, maybe it's a hundred, but organizations start by wiping the device of bloatware and installing a carefully crafted image that contains corporate software, settings, security, antivirus. It will be domain joined and registered with maintenance tools like System Center. However streamlined that process is, it could take a number of hours for each device. And once it's complete, it, the device has to then be shipped to the end user. They may be in the same building, a remote office, or as we see more and more these days, working from home. What if there was no image it's all part of challenge in the way that we think and what we've been doing for many years. Do we actually need an image? With Microsoft 365, we have the ability to change how we manage devices. Microsoft referred to 365 powered devices, essentially Windows 10, Office 365, managed by enterprise mobility and security. Now we can ship devices directly to the end users. They can run through a simple out of box experience. They're probably familiar with this. They've got a PC at home by pre-registering devices with autopilot deployment services when that PC boots for the first time it will know who's using it and which organization it belongs to. The device is then able to install software, security policies without the need of an IT admin. Sure, you might want to create some guidance, maybe a stream video. The end users get a sense of feeling special. They get to open the box for the first time, their fingers are the first ones to touch the keyboard. They could even go and source their own equipment if, th if that's needed. When the setup is complete, they have a fully working device in line with your policies with email and apps already configured. These advances in modern management are great for provisioning, but what about the ongoing maintenance? Windows Analytics is a free package available from Microsoft Operations Management Suite. It gives you extensive insights into the health and compliance of those devices. Windows Update for Business simplifies the update process, but could provide controls for deciding what to roll out and when. The options align with the release cadences for Windows as a service and that follows the same concept as the Office products with biannual releases and targeted rings for early assessment. 
Upgrade readiness helps predict what actions need to be taken before the next release, identifying compatibility issues with apps or drivers. It extends to office add-ins for backward compatibility. It's another example of cloud AI, understanding not just your environment, but learning from experiences of others on the platform. In a world where we use our own equipment, both inside the office and outside, it's important to know that the level of risk is managed. Microsoft Intune provides extensive management tools for configuring and looking after corporate owned devices as well as to personal devices that are unmanaged and untrusted. So you have control over who can access what data from where and on what device. As an example, we can ensure that only devices that meet certain requirements are able to access the data. More advanced scenarios mean you can control what applications access that data. Using modern management tools like Microsoft Intune provide great support for hybrid scenarios so you can move to the cloud at your own pace. Move a workload at a time, maybe introduce some compliance or Windows updates, then move on to software distribution. It doesn't have to be all or nothing. A single Windows 10 device can be joined to Active Directory and Azure Active Directory, simplifying the co-management between Intune and Config Manager or GPOs and Intune policies. The sheer size of the threat landscape today is quite daunting. It's impossible for any individual to keep pace with the complex security challenges. We need the scale of a cloud-backed, AI-backed solution to stay ahead. Microsoft 365 builds security into all layers of the infrastructure, helping to protect people, data, devices without disrupting end-user productivity. We still need to protect at the front door. For years, we've protected corporate networks and data with firewalls and proxies. In a cloud world, this has changed. People are the front door and often the first line of attack for hackers. In fact, over 80% of breaches come from stolen or weak passwords. The services across Office 365 and Azure help protect them. Conditional access based on identity, location or device health. These service offerings extend to SaaS applications, so you can secure data across hundreds of other services like Box, Salesforce, or Google. Allow access to cloud storage, but limit what can happen. Downloads based on device, same for data. Similar to the Microsoft Graph, used to power insights for user-centric features, the Microsoft Intelligence Security Graph provides insights into threats and vulnerabilities. Microsoft apply AI to billions of signals captured across products like Exchange, Windows and Azure. For example, every month Microsoft patch over a billion devices, scan 400 billion emails for malware and handle 450 billion authentications. That gives really great visibility into threats and enables better protection. Microsoft protection can be split into two areas, the first being threat protection. We all work hard to protect our organizations. The reality is the people we're fighting are world class and innovating. We have to take the stance that we've been breached, take automatic actions to remediate based on the intelligence security graph. Threat management is not only a challenge for capacity, but for timing too. WannaCry as an example could blanket an organization in less than an hour. So with the Microsoft services, you can protect your on-premises environment as well as the cloud. Advanced threat protection capabilities monitor network for privilege escalation, reconnaissance using DNS, suspicious authentication failures, abnormal modification of se sensitive groups. It can help generally detect abnormal behavior, accounts that don't normally get used or accounts used on machines where they're not normally used. So protecting users from spear phishing emails, malicious content and attachments, both Outlook and SharePoint and services like Windows Defender Security Center, as well as the security of other cloud applications, Microsoft 365 automates you to keep you secure and fill in the gaps where the human hands and minds just generally can't keep up. The second part of protection is identity and data. Secure identities with additional layers of such as multi-factor authentication, make them conditional for safe networks. We can detect, classify and protect, monitor critical data no matter where it lives, stop it leaving the organization if needs be. We're also able to integrate Azure information protection into Office 365 for message encryption. This is, makes it easier to encrypt content to any email system, including consumer services like outlook.com or gmail.com. Along the same lines, secure email and SharePoint capabilities so that content doesn't get forwarded, downloaded or printed. We can also integrate Azure Information Protection to collaborate securely with partners and contractors. And for reporting, we have the Security and Compliance Center. It provides real-time compliance score across your organization with helpful step-by-step -step guidance on how to help you improve. Uh, it was very useful there for GDPR. 
At the end of the day, Microsoft 365 enables us to do things we've dreamt about within a single technology stack. The organization will be more secure, users will be more empowered, and in theory, everyone will have a great experience. Now granted, it's not everyone's favorite topic, but the webinar wouldn't be complete without uh, the slide or two on licensing. Fortunately, it's not as horrendously complex as it used to be in the past. The concept of each of these product sets having varying levels of licensing means Microsoft aligns the plans that already exist. We already have E3 and E5 plans for Office 365, Enterprise Mobility and Security, and Windows 10. Bringing these together into one bundle set for Microsoft 365. But whilst the enterprise plans or e-plans are the most common, it's available in a license for education. A business plan offers a cut down feature set designed to help SMEs with the challenges of technology today. Uh, an F plan for first line workers offering the tools needed to empower sales associates, factory workers, customer service teams, medical staff. In fact, 80% of the global workforce is made up of these first line workers, often left behind by digital transformation. And if you're licensed for certain Microsoft cloud services already, there are transition paths to help maximize on those investments. As we've seen for a number of years, there is a new culture of work that's emerging and defining a new modern workplace. Microsoft 365 can help create the most productive experience for users with infrastructure that's secure and easy to manage and offers a much lower TCO. I'd like to thank everyone again for taking the time to attend today. We'll see if we've got any questions to answer. We'll make this available as a recording afterwards, but please feel free to get in touch if you'd like to know more.